I'm Pastor Penny Hogan from Westside Presbyterian Church, and I'm here today at One Market Street in Patterson, the second location for New City Kids. I'll be speaking today with Jesse Davis, who is the Executive Director of New City Kids Patterson. Jesse, it is good to be with you here at the second location of New City Kids. Yes. The last time we were together was in 2020 at the height of the pandemic. Yep. And I'm wondering if you could share with us a little bit about what has changed since then and um, where you are today. Yeah, so a lot's changed since COVID. Um, we've been together, you know, for five years prior to then, New City Kids Patterson had started. And then we felt the commission of the Lord to like launch out into the deep. It was time to cast our nets on the other side. And um, that led us here to Don Treader mm. Christian School in Patterson, located at One Market Street. And this is my uh, alma mater. I graduated Amazing. from here. I attended here from kindergarten to eighth grade. And it just felt like the alignment of the mission and the goals just made so much sense. Mm -hmm. um, they are the last standing Christian school in Patterson. And we are one of the only ministries doing youth development work in Patterson. So it made perfect sense for us to align and come together for that. Um, so we have opened up the site. We opened it last September, so that's September 2021. And uh, we are now serving double the amount of kids that we were prior to the pandemic, amazing. which is amazing. Yeah. So the Lord has not only expanded us in a, the sense of our faith, but also in our reach. Um, so we are now able to reach every high school in the city, which we're not able to do with just the one location at East 22nd Street. Um, and where the site is here at Market Street is right across from the falls. It is such a symbol of hope for us mm. that the revitalization that's coming through the city is going to start here. We can hear the rustlings and the rumblings of it every day. And it's so exciting. That's so exciting that you're yeah. here now. You're doubling the amount of kids that you serve. Yep. And uh, so can you tell us what inspires you and, and brings joy to you to come to work every day as you or a part of this uh, movement yeah. here in Patterson. What I enjoy most about coming to work is seeing the moments of discovery in their mm. faces, right? When a kid goes from saying, I can't do this, I'll never be this, um, life, you know, it's entirely too hard and I'm shut out of this to saying, I think I can do those things. And then by the time they leave us, they're like, I know I can, like that is me. I, I am worthy, I am worth it. Um, I am going to college, I, I do have a career path. I am going to be the first in my family to do great things. And that is such an awesome thing because that was my story. Mm. Um, to, so I, I get to be that person that I didn't have when I was growing up and just to see the, the power of impact. We, we take our teens on a college tour every year. And for one student, she came in and she was really struggling, Pastor Penny. She, uh, mm. <laughs> she was like at the bottom of the barrel, but she had great leadership potential. And we saw that and said, hey, we can work with you. So we struggled and worked together and we invited her to come to college tour with us. And prior to then, she had like a 1.5 GPA. And mm. she's like, we were like, hey, yeah. we don't know if college is the next step for you, though we can consider it, we don't know if that's gonna be the next thing that you do, but let's go on college tour. And she was like, yeah, I'm not sure this is for me, but she went on the tour and seeing herself in those spaces and like not to be cliche is as she was walking through the campuses, she saw a reflection of herself in the windows Wow! and said, I can see myself here. So she went on and she graduated high school. Amen. Praise God for that. <laughs> um, and though she didn't go immediately to a four university, she went down to our community college. I um, mean, is now enrolled there and will be transferring to a four university this, uh, this, this next September. So we are so very proud of her, mm. but that's just one story. And that happens so often. You are an organization that works with elementary age children yes. as well as high yep. schoolers. And so can you tell us a little bit about the empowerment of the high schoolers and those who've been up through your program now that you've been around for so many years here, yeah. the, the development that you've seen and the transformation. New City, we believe that the change agents of tomorrow are the youth of today. So right. we go out there and we partner and walk alongside them and say, hey, we're going to hire you. You're going to be the staff. So when you come to any New City kids site, you're going to find there are probably three to five adult staff. The rest of the, the 15 to the 20 staff that are working that day are all high school students. Amazing. They are leading their own classrooms. They have come up with their own curriculums. And I like to say that by the time they're done with us, if they stay with us for four years, they have a resume that can go toe to toe with a third year teacher. So they are getting tons of experience and we give them the platform to do just that. We give them the platform to succeed as well as give them the platform to fail because that's where the learning happens. And they see then that the investment shows how valuable that they are. Youth ministry, I say it like this, you have to have a really strong and firm faith, 
right? Because what we do is plant seeds. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even before we can plant the seeds, a good gardener goes and toils the soil. And that's the work that we've gotten called to do. We are literally toiling the soil of their hearts. And sometimes, yes, it's really rocky. And sometimes others are really ready for, for planting. But each of them deserve that intentionality. Each of them mm -hmm. deserves someone stopping and saying, I see you. I hear you. I love you. And I'm going to call you further, right? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna push you further than what you think you can do. And I'm gonna be there right beside you as you're doing it. And that's such a reflection of the kingdom because that's exactly what God does to us, right? He like interrupts our stories and our narratives and comes alongside of us in our journeys. Um, and I get to see that happen every day. <laughs> what an amazing witness to the lives that you are transforming here in the city of Patterson yep. and establishing a new narrative for yep. people who are, uh, for your students who perhaps don't have the hope because they haven't seen yep. this development in their parents or in adults sure. in their lives. And so to be able to really, truly change their lives yep. is so remarkable. So we are grateful for the work that you do here in Amen. Patterson. Amen. And uh, we are hoping that we can raise some money for you to help awesome. continue <laughs> to do the great work that you're doing here. So thank you so much for your time today. Amen. And God bless on all of the journey that you have ahead with your students. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. As you have heard, New City Kids is changing lives of children and youth here in Patterson. They're giving them hope for a better future. I hope you'll join me in donating to our Advent campaign to raise $55,000 for four of our mission partners serving here in Patterson. Whatever you give, we thank you for your generosity.